Well, Krona wasn't dead for very long. I mean, technically, he wasn't dead at all. You guys just swiped him out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here comes a moment of truth. Oh, he saw his blue vest. Hey, he can use the Aksha blade. <laughs> it's a good thing he picked that up. But you don't need to have him in the park if you don't want to. <laughs> it's true. You didn't even need to save him. You could you could go fight Lavos without him. It is optional to save Chrono. I mean, technically in this game, you don't have to do anything. You can fight Lavos in any chapter of the game. And you get a different ending depending on when you do it. That's better. You just probably can't fight Lavos at any point in the game because he's strong. Let's try a new game plus. And he's at the same level as the rest of the team. I know, it's like it's like he was never gone. He was here all along. We rewrote history. All right, you've done it, D. The Shire Cat has reached the Faded Hour. The Faded Hour is the penultimate chapter of the game. What does that mean? It means it is the second to last chapter of the game. Awesome. The final chapter being Fighting Lavos. Okay. You can go to the final chapter whenever you want. Now to do eight hours of side quest. Is there really eight hours of side quest left? There is a side quest for each character. About half of them are quick and easy, and about half of them involve dungeons and bosses. That's Lavos over there, right? Um, you could literally go on your time machine to any point in time and track down all those and fight them. That's how, that's how you would fight Lavos at any point in time. Well, that, wow. He doesn't pull his punches there, but know that you yourselves may share the same fate. So yeah, you can go there, but you might die. Have fun. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, man. Hey, you know, whatever glitch boat, right? All right, so, anybody have any advice on side quest I should do? You talk to Gasper. Uh, Gasper might have advice. So, all went well. No, don't thank me. I merely placed a piece upon the board. It was not my hand that moved it. If you would wish, if you would thank someone, thank the ones who cared enough to see their friend return to them. By the way, the wings of time have come looking for you. They seem to have a heart and mind all their own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the black omen which now straddles time seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly lusting so greedily after power that the power wields you. It is up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, albeit vague, of events, people, and places that will empower you. A force brought back to life by the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. The fortress of one of Giannis's three former generals in the Mid Middle Ages. A task to be done in the future in a birthplace of machines. A prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of all the ages of the world. The restless spirit of a proud knight slain by Giannis in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Speak to your companions. Some among you may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives throughout the ages. Let their strength become your own. For only then can you hope to defeat the enemy you face. Such is the power required should you wish to change the future. I will remain here and bear witness to the world's fate. It is interesting. You have compiled a party of people from every age, except for we don't have anybody from the Day of Lavos that we know of. No, everybody in the Day of Lavos died. Died. <laughs> well, not everybody. But obviously, people live to the future, but yeah. sit around being a bit of a 
or mutants. But um, yeah, you, the day, if you go to the day of Lavos, you die. So you don't really have to have any friends. Yeah, I was saying like it's interesting. We have united all of time into one party to defeat the entity that ends all of time. So we've united this whole universe to save the world. Yeah, you got um, you got Ayla from previous story history, Frog from the Middle Ages, Luca from the present day, Marl also from the present day, Magus from antiquity, apparently. Robo, Robo from the future. They say that. Filthy turtle. Hi! How are you? Welcome in! I'm just a guest. Uh, this is Gilded Jay's stream, and um, I'm Deadshire. I'm his wife, and I am playing Chrono Trigger tonight. But usually, uh, he streams all the rest of the week, so. Yeah, it's my stream six days a week, and hers on Sunday. I just borrow it. All right, so if I talk to these people, don't you dare put us through that again. Solar, solar energy was used aeons ago, long before Lavos was discovered as a source of power. It might just, it might be just the thing we need to combat him. Oh, so if I talk to each of them, they'll show me where I need to go to complete their quest. Uh, possibly. Possibly, okay. Do you want me to suggest which one you should do first? Sure. Which one should I do first? I mean, you can literally do them in any order, uh -huh. but some of them are easier than others. Okay. Do you want to do the easy ones first? Sure, let's do it. Isla, Luca, and Frogs are pretty quick. Okay. Okay. Ha! Look at you! Ladies weeping over you left and right! The spirit of a proud knight! Could it be? Okay. <coughs> oh, I didn't want to talk. I, I turned the wrong way. Oh, the dust flying in my face. Chrono! 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 Uh, okay. Fight Lobos. Strong armor. Ayla village hat. Go see. Ayla go. Boring here. Ayla, fight hard. Too much, no fight. Oh, okay. For the timing, we'll do that. Also, you still have most of the sealed chests. Yeah, I know. I hadn't done any of the sealed chests, really. I know. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Alright, so where... Where do we... So Ayla's village. Got it. Alright, let's go to... We're gonna start at, at the beginning of time and work our way around. Plot. Alright. For the pot. Yes. Take off! Do, 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 do. Ayla's village. Stand here. Ayla! Ayla okay? Kino okay? Lavos fall. Reptiles gone. That good, but get cold now. Hunt, but not many beasts. But Kino no stop. Ayla no worry. Leave the Kino. Kino, you told me nothing. You're useless. This look like stairs, I'm just gonna say. But Chrono says no. Oh, I have Chrono back. I missed him. I'm just gonna try and sell me stuff. Go hunting, hunting range. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. You told me this before. Oh yeah, we need to buy more potions. We only got seven in stock. Fun. Oh. How's that? 99. Oh, where am I going? Did you talk to the chief? 
That that guy's well, not the chief, but the, 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 the merchant guy in the middle. Right? Really? He's the guy that sells stuff. Oh, okay. This is the armor she's talking about. Use many rubies. It takes ten petals, ten fangs, ten horns, and ten feathers to make one. Or to buy one. So we gotta go up to the hunting range and farm those. If you want, you can get three of them, but it'll take you 30 of each. But, um, it is good armor. All right, let's do it. And these fights haven't gotten any harder, so you can probably do them pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't know how many of those you have. I don't either. We'll figure it out. Bring I will them. say that this armor from Ayla's will help you a lot with, um, with Lucas' quest. Okay. Yeah, I'd say the fight's got a little bit easier. Yes, you should be able to farm this stuff up very, very quickly. Um, the other key items. So you've got 14 feathers already, 13 fangs, 11 petals. You have almost no horns, though. I need how many of? Ten of each. Ten of each. Oh, I need horns. To get one armor, yes. If you want to get more armors, you Oh, I could get... You could get one for each if you wanted to. Oh. I really only need three, though, because I only can have three people in the party at a time. Right. So three is enough. And honestly, you would only need... For what this armor does, which you'll find out when you buy one, you only need two if you want to go and open up those sealed chests. Because you can find an even better armor to replace it in one of the sealed chests. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna bore people. I'm just kind of grinding. Not even grinding, I'm like farming. Well, just talk. It'll be fine. It won't take you that long. Oh, the rain. That means that the, the new guy will be there. He isn't gonna be that hard anymore. I don't know where to find him at. Oh. I don't know what to talk about. Well, um, <clears throat> I guess you don't know anything about Chrono Cross at all, so you can't really talk about it much. If you had to, okay, how about this? If you had to make Chrono Cross. What what would you be looking for in, in Chrono Cross? What are you expecting? All you know about it really is that it's a, a a sequel to Chrono Trigger, right? Yeah. Are there any like changes that you would like to see? I have a very uh, low threshold as far as like video game preferences. I I don't. I mean, sometimes they change things in video games and they just make them way too easy. Like, as somebody that has played a lot of, uh, like, all my, my, really, my intro to RPGs was Pokemon. And, like, nowadays, like, it's made so simple, it's, like, laughable. And so I don't want to see them do that. But yeah, that's true. Pokemon got too easy. Pokemon got way too easy. Like, it's, it's laughable at this point. Like, it's, I get it. It's clearly a game for children, and I get that. Like, but I guess my thing is, is it they didn't think about the fact that there's still a chunk of their audience that is very much grown at this point, you know? Like, or they didn't care. Like, I guess they were like, you know, it doesn't matter because we're still aiming this game to children. If you've already fought all the fights, you could leave and come back in to respawn all the fights. Oh, that's right. They don't. They don't, they, they don't respawn automatically. I forgot. 
I'm so used to that because like every other RPG does that. No random battles in Chrono Trigger. Okay. A challenge mode? You know, I didn't play Black and White 2. That's the only one I have never played. And apparently that's the one that had a challenge mode in. Uh... Why would they decide that's not worth it? You wouldn't even think that would take that much work. You know, my favorite Pokemon was always, uh, I think it was Crystal, the one where you got to do, like, two different Pokemon leagues. That was awesome. And, like, what annoyed me in, um... Sun and Moon is like they they teased it. You know, they talked about Johto, and they talked about the Johto um, uh, League and all of that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's gonna be like Crystal, where we end, but we don't really end. Like you can keep going, and like that didn't happen. And I was like, this is so frustrating. Like why? It'd probably the fastest if you just leave out the exit, come in, fight that one fight, and leave again because it's right there in front of the entrance. Okay. I'm trying to help. Because, like, that fight with the frog at the entrance there is, like, almost a good. Okay. I didn't think it dropped horns. Does it not drop horns? We'll see. I didn't think it did the last time. Are they forced to pump out po I mean, I guess they do put out like a Pokemon of some sort every single- Two fangs, two horns, Oh, it's two, two fangs. okay. It didn't get something though. You got, like you have enough feathers for three. You got half the horns you'd need for three. Almost all the fangs you need. Mostly just horns and petals left. Come on. Yeah, call uh I've never played Call of Duty. I don't know that Call of Duty's the right game for me though. I'm not I'm not good at shooters. Deadshire likes to play a lot of games like uh Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. Yeah, my Pokemon. my uh my uh games lately have been a lot of, um, like, I don't know what you call Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, but I've played a lot of those games recently. Um, what's the name of that game I, I started today? Neptune? Oh, Neptunia? Yeah. Yeah, Hyperdimension Neptunia. I don't know which one you're playing. You're playing, like, one of the new ones. Yeah, it's fun. I like the combat system. I've only ever played the first Hyper Dimension Neptunia, and I didn't get very far in it because the story was just so like, okay, so each of these girls represents one of the consoles, and this is like the console wars, the RPG, the JRPG or something. Yeah, except for they're not at war with each other, they're united and they're like a... Yeah, well, I was playing the first one. Oh. Well, so these girls are all united, and uh, then there's the... Uh, like some evil from evil guy from the nation of Tari, and I'm like, oh, Atari? so Atari. <laughs> wow. See, it's, these consoles are still at war. They're just fighting a new, a new one. Well, now they're in like some hyper dimension or something. I don't. Well, I, it's always been hyper dimension. That's the name of the series. No, they're in like some zero dimension or something. I don't know. Um, a lot of like weird game jokes. In there. Yeah, and some really like perverted moments. There was like this scene where each of them, like, it was really weird. It was like, I'm gonna take a shower. And then there she is with like these bubbles perfectly placed over, you know, and, and, but you know, you can still see like the shape of her boobs and everything like that. And I was like, okay. And it's like, come join me in the shower. And then another one. And then it was like, oh, you have to join us in the shower too. And then another one. And I was like, how long is this going to be on my screen? I mean, maybe guys enjoy that. Oh, how much have you seen of Xenoblade 2 that I've been playing? 
next to really none. You've seen uh, Pyra, though, right? The, the main character. The chick with the ginormous boobs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Pyra and Mytho have ginormous boobs, but Tora's mechan- like, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Listen, you're not dropping petals. Tora's blade, Poppy, is not a real blade. And she was like a little girl slash maid slash battle robot thing, sort of. So she didn't have the ginormous boobs, but now I've unlocked her like third form, and now she's adult Poppy, and now she has also gained the... Uh... So the frogs don't drop petals. Oh, uh, okay. So the other guys drop pedals, I guess? If I can find someone, yeah. I've Maybe decided- those, like, slime looking dudes? I've decided that I'm only gonna buy two of the armor, because you have hinted that I don't really need The a... big thing about the armor is, it, one, it's just good armor, it's got good defense on it, but the big thing is it, it, it has an extreme amount of fire defense. And there is a set of armor you can get from the sealed chests, which will not only give you fire defense, but make you absorb fire damage. I can't find any of those little slime things. Oh, there's, there's one right there. Artificial. Thank you, Azuna okay. Yeah, I, I, for some reason, I could not think of the word artificial. But yeah, um, Pop Poppy Q her name is Poppy Cutie Pie now too. Like it went from Poppy Alpha to Poppy QT to Poppy Cutie Pie. Awesome. And he has a he has an explanation for why it's Cutie Pie. There's like a name in there. Like Q and T stand for some ridiculous techno jargon name. But um, yeah. She's also like, her new clothes are like basically a swimsuit and her shorts are even smaller than Pyra's were. So like, they're like, tall. Wow. So, basically, hey look at me, I've got a hot anime She has an awesome body. cape, side cape thing on. Yeah, so I'm sure all men are concerned with the Five cape. I, I was. It was a pretty cool cape. <laughs> and then, like, as a total, like, random thing, I've been really suddenly into this game called Dead by Daylight, which I really suck at, but I love playing it. Yeah, she doesn't even watch me stream. She watches all the Dead by Daylight streams. I do. Yeah. I, I, that, I, that is my, I, I follow a lot of Dead by Daylight streamers. You sucker for scarves. Because of, I don't know who that is. I'm sure you do, but I don't. Oh. Yeah, you don't know who that is. more times. Got it. Come on, this guy. Oh, wow. The scarves are pretty cool. farm and petals right now. I got this down. Come over here. Come around here. 
It's a nice thing about auto fights, like they're just being on the map as a fixed point because like, could you imagine if they were, you'd just be like walking around trying to get the fights to Kayla. We don't do 6-6 six, six damage. That, that's bad, Kayla. <laughs> To be Halo, fair, no. the, hunt, the hunting grounds is one of the only places in the game where you're really stopping farm at all. Yeah, I know. It makes it so you don't really have to. All right, we only have to do this two more times to have enough for um, three of them. I Are we getting three? Well, I decided I had enough for three on everything except for petals, so... What the heck? Why not? Why not? So some of these side quests actually have some pretty cool, like, dungeons and bosses associated with them, too. Which is awesome. Are you, like, trying to get me to drag Chrono Trigger out for, like, another week? I mean, it's up to you. You could try and fight Lavos tonight. I could try. I feel like I'm gonna fail. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Chrono's already died once, right? I feel like, I'm gonna be really honest here. I feel like they shouldn't have let you bring Chrono back. I feel like that was like, like this big story moment. They kill off the main character and then they're like, oh, never mind, you can have him back. They should have made him stay dead. And then you wouldn't have needed the Chrono Tree. Well, they could have made that for something else. All right, let's go buy this superbly awesome armor. Better be good armor. All right, you got three ruby armors. I don't know what I'm doing. So you went from 147 to 180, and it takes away 80% of fire damage. Is that good enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> like the, the rewards from these quests are, are quite large. Before you leave the pre prehistoric pass, there's one other thing that you can do if you want. Which is going to LaRuba Village. I really only have Ayla in the party right now. Because... You don't have to have Ayla in the party. Oh. Oh. Oh, you would do all the side quests? Each one has a unique story. This you think? Okay. You can do all the side quests. I still want to bore anybody with the side quests. They're not boring. Okay. It's They're really just like the main story. They're just optional. How do I get... Oh, I can just fly there, right? Yeah, you can fly there. Oh, thank goodness. They move so slow. <clears throat> there are a lot of places that you couldn't do the side quest before because you didn't have the ability to fly, and there are some places you can't reach. No. But if you go to Laruba Village, there is a new there. And the new... Um, first of all, he lets you rename your characters if you want to give them all fancy names like Rabu. But also... He... What, is, what is that? Where's the village? I don't remember where Rabu is. Okay, well, we'll find it. App's only so big, right? The ruins. I don't. There he is. What? What's the matter? I was sound asleep, new. Can a new not get some rest? I changed Chrono's name, so please let me go back to my dreams, new. But he'll let you change anybody's name if you want to. If you don't want to. That's why I came here. No. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. I don't need this stone, so I give it to you. 
Silver gemstone. 99. What do I do with this? That is one of the um, weapon, the items that unlock a triple weapon. Oh, okay. That one's actually for Frog, Robo, and Isla. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Let's figure it out. Okay. So that's Alice's side quest, that's all it is. Like, hers, hers isn't so much a side quest as much as, hey, by the way, you can get some armor. <laughs> that's, okay. her, that's her quest. 